Hey Pom Pom Gang, welcome back to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. Today we are making a wine bar for my entertainment living room. So um, I have this old dresser that Christian purchased off of Facebook. Somebody was in the middle of trying to renovate it themselves and I guess didn't want to go through with it. So they put it up for sale for about $20. So um, it's been hanging out in the garage for about six to eight months now. I'm just now getting the time to finally get around to it. And I want to have this project done by Christmas, which is tomorrow for this video. So the next day, this pretty much needs to be done today. So right now I am taking off all the hardware and that little H piece in the middle, I am removing that. So that was giving me the time of my life. So it had screws that it was attached to. The screws just didn't want to unscrew, um, I guess from, you know, just years of being warped around that wood. I just couldn't get them to budge. So I ended up having to bring out my isolating saw to cut these small little uh, cuts into the wood and pretty much just take my hammer and bang it through because the saw would not go through those screws. All right, so right here I have my leveler sitting on the shelf where I plan on putting a shelf. So it's pretty much going to be a a uh, top shelf here and then my bottom shelf here where I'm going to put all my wines and then my ice buckets and wine glasses and other miscellaneous wine related stuff will go in that big open part at the top. So putting my level on here to check to make sure that the shelf is going to be leveled and it's not the back side um, raises up a little bit higher than the front so I have to add a quarter inch piece of wood to the front part to make it all leveled out so that is what we are doing over here on this side we are about to uh, cut cut some wood so I have my edge cutter um, it just pretty much helps you cut straight since I do not have a saw table right now safety first whenever using power tools make sure you have on safety gloves your um, safety eye goggles and a mask just in case my sinuses are terrible so i always end up sneezing and choking on the damn wood shavings so please make sure you protect your face so i'm just taking down all my measurements adjusting my uh, edge clamp as i go and just cutting away at this point so time consuming and can be very tiring so this definitely took some time and these are just the pieces to help level out the shelf this isn't even the pieces that i need for the actual shelf all right so i cut all my pieces to put in my levels on the dresser cut a total of four pieces because two is going to go on the bottom and my wood is a little bit short so I'm gonna have to cut um, like one and a half of those pieces to fit up there at the top so we're gonna do that now we're gonna glue it on there nail it and we can start building the actual shelves a little bit of background on my woodworking skills I am definitely a beginner I know my way around power tools and I just know the basic knowledge on how to use them so this is pretty much just a hobby for me it's definitely not something that I provide as a service at all um, we I recently started doing woodworking and repurposing furniture probably about two two, three years ago when we became homeowners. And I just wanted to know the basic skills on how to use these things because being a homeowner, there's always something breaking down, tearing up in the house. And we are now responsible for all of that. Like I can't call a landlord and be like, hey, this broke, come fix it. So this was mainly my reason on trying to learn it. And then once I learned it, I realized, you know what? I kind of want to do more with it. So this requires basic skills, nothing great or grand. Um, it definitely takes a lot of trial and error when it comes to working with wood. And I've definitely had a lot of errors. So here I am right now, just putting in my shelves um, and then we'll, add the divider to divide the two shelves on the bottom as well as the shelves for the side. And yes, it's coming along and it is taking a lot of time. So this 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 project took me all day. I did not get done with the project um, until about six, seven o'clock at night.
pay no attention to my onward appearance I am still working on this damn wine bar so I really want to have it done by Christmas because that's tomorrow um, because I'm hosting Christmas dinner and I want to have somewhere to uh, showcase my wine and stuff so I at least want to have the shelves in so I can uh, you know spaz it up just or zazz it up spaz it up zazz it up just a little bit so um I made a trip to Lowe's and I purchased some more wood and I went ahead and had them cut it because it was just taking too damn long for me to cut it myself because I don't have a saw table so um or a table saw so um so yeah um they went ahead and cut the last three pieces that I needed which will lay down on um right here for uh, my surface and then for the sides um, close those off as well so uh, we're going to go ahead and do that I'm about to get my uh, glue gun or my glue out and my nail gun out so we can finish this up and when Christian gets home we are going to move it to the living room um, and I'm going to chalk paint it I'm I was going to do white on the bottom and for the top I was going to stain it but um, this thing is like really badly damaged so I think I'm gonna just paint it like a, a darker color probably I'm not sure yet um, but I know the bottom part is going to be white but yeah it has a lot of like nicks and stuff going on in it so I'm going to get my wood filler and I'm gonna fill it in as much as I can and then we're going to caulk it out here because I hate the smell of caulking inside of the house and hopefully that will all be dry by the time Christian gets off by five o'clock so he can help me move it into the house so uh, this one was a lot more challenging than the last one that we did when I made Christian's um, entertainment center for his man cave, um, mainly because this one was completely gutted out and I had to like pretty much not reframe it, but you know, come up with a whole like plan. Like Christian's was just building shelves. This one, like I had to like destroy it to make it look like something. So <sighs> alrighty then. So let's go ahead and get started and get this mess over with. All right, so shelves are in. It was a lot more difficult doing this top one. Um, and it still isn't 100% like even, but it's a lot better than what it was when I started out. And I'll get my leveler so you guys can see. So there's a leveler sitting right there in the center of the big shelf. And as you can see, it is slightly leaning to my left. Um, so it's all good like it's a whole lot better than what it was because when I first started it was like uneven but like this much like it was all on the other side of the damn bubble so the sun is starting to go down Christian should be here to then help me move it into the living room and then I will paint it on another day because <laughs> I'm tired Um, I went ahead and brought it in because I didn't really have anywhere to put anything in this room. There's no like coffee table or any other kind of table. And this is what it looks like. Um, and I haven't painted it yet or anything. I haven't um, gotten a chance to sand it down um, so I can begin painting it. So this is just like raw material right now just all raw material um the shelves turned out very good i have plenty of space for all of my wine glasses i have my wine bottles down there and i haven't even put in like the the little racks for them to you know 
so they stay in line um i haven't even put those in um i originally wanted to buy something for the wine glasses to hang them upside down um you know from underneath uh the bar but i i think i'm okay like it's it's pretty spacious i think i'm okay with them just sitting on the glass like that um but all of my liquor and wine bottles are down here i have my shaker right there uh i i have plans on buying some more stuff and you know making it look a little bit more cute I will begin sanding down the entire shelf um, and I'm gonna go ahead and round off those edges. I do have kids in the house, so as you can see her running back and forth, driving me crazy. Um, so I have to make sure those edges are nice and rounded just in case they decide to just fall into the damn bar. I just, I don't know how that will happen, but because I am a mom and my anxiety is always through the freaking roof when it comes to my kids, I'm just gonna go ahead and round off those edges. Plus it just makes it look nice. So this is the chalk paint that I will be using in the color white. I get this from Waverly. It's my favorite chalk paint to use. Um, and it's so cheap. It's like 10, 10 or $12 a bottle. And we're just gonna paint the, and only just the bottom half. So that top piece, we will not paint white. We will paint everything else white, including the inside of the shelf, the sides, the front, all that will be white. All right, there is coat number one. We will definitely be doing a second coat. There's still some parts that I can still kind of see the brown from the dresser. But overall, it's looking pretty good. So now to do the top, and we are doing that one in a brown. What was it called? Yes, I bought the truffle the chalk paint all right and this is what it looks like done painting looks really good the white really makes it pop it's a great statement piece in here um, and against the blue gray wall looks really good too so I'm about to start putting my stuff up on here to finish it out decorate it make it look all cute but yeah, we now have a wine bar. Woo! <laughs>